Hey everyone, Sean Smith here at Dedicated Commercial Recovery in Roseville, Minnesota. Doing another vlog today on toxic corporate America. Chime in the lightning and the thunder and everything like that. But uh, hey, here's the deal. Corporate America has gotten toxic. It has put profit before people for too long. It has developed a bad reputation, rightfully so. And I think it's a great topic to talk about how can we change that regardless of where we're in an entry level position or the CEO and owner of the company. So here's just some thoughts and ideas to hopefully spur some conversation. As always, please like and subscribe, comment and share. We, we super appreciate that. So let me dive into it. One, you have to have stop having a fake brand. The websites, fake photos, the marketing, fake everything. Put real people, put your team on your website. That's what we do. It's all about authenticity with our brand. We want what anyone sees from the outside to be exactly what's going on the inside. And that kind of ties into my second topic, which is shallow brands. The leaders are not modeling internally what they say, they're saying they are. They don't model it. So. You have a, a team of people that don't respect the people they're leading for. They're talking about this brands, put on marketing, advertising. Oh, look at all the good stuff we're doing. But then when you get internally, none of that stuff is important. None of it's talked about. It has to be some depth and interwoven into the whole organization. Accountability. You have to focus on a positive culture, but then you have to hold it accountable. You have to do surveys. You have to touch base with the people in your organizations that will give you viable feedback to know you're actually hitting the mark. And if you're not, own it, acknowledge it, and make the changes promptly uh, so that the culture remains positive. Standard of excellence. Too often I see that, oh, everyone else on the team is supposed to do everything perfect and not mess up and do everything with excellence, but when they look up, it's the furthest thing they see from excellence is the people leading them. They come in late, they leave early, they're apathetic, they're not motivated, they're not giving, they're not serving. They are the definition of positional leadership versus a servant leader. You have to be, you gotta hold that accountable and if you're an owner or CEO, you have to be looking at the people leading your teams and are they doing that and are you doing that. Uh, employee benefits. You know, do you have flexible hours? Do you have uh, better than the minimum or no benefits? Are you truly putting people before just profit? And that really comes into putting significance before success. If you're chasing the right thing, success is always a byproduct. So if you're chasing how can I be significant to my team, how can I help them, how can I serve them, how can I give them the best benefits, you will have successful teams that will put out a better product who will care more about what they do than if you're just trying to pay the minimum and do the minimum amount. And that's one of the ways we've been to excel in the market is because our team is amazing, but I think our team feels supported and not just how much I can skim off them as the owner of the company. And I think that's really important when you look at you know doing raises and things like that. And it's a philosophy, but it works. And finally, I'd say, what is the ROI, right? It's less turnover, it's a stronger brand, better continuity throughout the whole brand, and the actual brand is authentic, uh, you're making an impact, you have higher fulfillment, less turnover, it's a great ROI. And I would put in a bonus there. If you're someone of faith, whatever that is, and you feel led to be a positive light in the workplace, do that. Live that out. Let people know that that is an integral part to who you are. Don't shy away from that. Don't leave that as something for outside corporate America. Bring it in. Corporate America needs positivity. It needs people that are willing to be a servant leader and help other people and be a positive light in their life. So I hope some of these tips and benefits uh, have resonated with you. Please like, subscribe. As always, thank you for tuning in and God bless.